I believe it's an olive-headed sea snake. So, and he's still alive, and they can often just sit there like this, and as soon as you touch them, then they just go off. So, he's probably very, very tired. He's probably lost a lot of energy, and um, he's gonna need a bit of recovery time, but I've already been in contact with the guys from Australia Zoo, the rescue team, and they're gonna meet me this morning. Now, we've just arrived here at Malulabar Beach, and we've got a sea snake. Now, this happens fairly often. Uh, we believe that this is an olive-headed sea snake. Now, what happens is they're either the tides are quite large, uh, the snake actually might be quite sick, uh, or it might be rough tides or rough seas, and he's got swept up. And whenever a sea snake is swept up on the beach, it usually means that something's wrong. So, what we're going to do? We're going to pick him up, put him in this bucket. I might get you guys because you've got no shoes on to chuck some water in here and then we'll take him and meet up with the rescue guys from Australia Zoo, and then he'll be rehabilitated hopefully at the wildlife hospital and then released back into the wild, back into the ocean. We're just down here at the Moolabar Spit, a beautiful part of the world, and we've got the sea snake on board. And uh, it's been to the wildlife hospital. He's had a full check over. He's been there for probably four days now. Uh, he went through all the, the different checkups that are required and he's come out with a tick of approval to go back into the wild, which is pretty awesome. Now we've teed up with the, the guys at the Malulabar Surf Club to take us out in the jet ski and release him back into the water ourselves, which is pretty awesome. So I'm pretty stoked and pretty excited about this. I haven't done this before. Alright guys, how cool is this? Olive headed sea snake going back into the water. Don't go under the jet ski. That's sick.